LDBC. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? I told y'all this fight was a darn. I mean, this fight was just a, a publicity stunt. That's all this fight was. Okay? The Gonzalez family, they pimped out their daughter, Yayira. They pimped out. Okay, she got pimped out. Okay, I, I, I'm willing to bet that Shakur Stevenson and Joy Gonzalez, I'm pretty sure that these two, they, they mad cool behind the scenes. I'm pretty sure that they mad cool behind the scenes. Matter, matter of fact, you know, they was dapping each other up the whole fight. They was dapping each other up the whole fight. You know, even after the fight, he told me, oh, let's bury the hatchet. And, you know, even behind the scenes, man, they was talking to each other. Like, you know, Shakur Stevenson, to me, and, and Joe Gonzalez, these are all the way hoes for this. Okay, Shakur Stevenson, I was wondering, there's a reason why he didn't engage. It's a reason, because Shakur Stevenson, you know, get dudes out of there. He be punishing dudes. This guy, he ain't punishing. Matter of fact, he was just content on just winning rounds. And I said, something going down. This girl, you know, must have gave Shakur the business. You know, gave Shakur that good stuff. And then Shakur was like, yeah, I'll do whatever you say. I do. I mean, guys, that's the only way, that, that's the only way we can explain this. Because anything else, how you going to explain all of this? It's ridiculous, man. He went in there. He took it easy on the girl uh, brother. He took it easy on the girl brother because that was her brother. That was his girlfriend brother. And I'm sitting here thinking, unfreaking believable Unbelievable. You got to be kidding me, man. It's a world championship fight. And you know, Shakur could have got robbed on the cars. Like, he legit could have got robbed on the cars for doing what he doing. You know, he in there, you know, he in there flossing and stunting and showboating and styling and profiling. You know, and I'm sitting here like, man, I, 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 I don't know how much more I can be supporting Shakur Stevenson. Man. I, I don't know if I can watch any more of his fights after this, man. After this, like, you know, and it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, because they hyped this fight up like it was going to be so good. Like, these two was going to be going back and forth. You know, Joette Gonzalez didn't want to engage. Shakur Stevenson didn't want to engage. Okay, neither one of these people wanted to engage. And Shakur was the bigger person. He was the bigger fighter. And I'm sitting there thinking, why this guy not out of here? Why this guy not out of here? This guy, he was undefeated in the school. Oh, he's a good fighter. This guy... You know, to me, he didn't look like he was a great fighter, okay? He didn't look like somebody that was going out as a blood and guts warrior. He didn't look like that. This guy was in there. He was trying not to get countered. And I'm talking about Gonzalez. He was in there trying to get countered. And then you had Gonzalez all week long talking about the honor of his family. He going to do this. He going to do that. He going to, you know, beat some sense into Shakur and get his sister back. All this other dumb stuff, man. It was a publicity stunt. And it was orchestrated by his goofy daddy, okay? I, I mean, his daddy got me with them tears. You know, I'm sitting there thinking, damn, man, your daddy crying, your sister, you know, with Shakur, Shakur talking junk, Shakur running around here telling everybody he done got with your sister. And then you get in there and get beat up like a, like, you know, you just get beat like this. But they had it all planned out. They intended not to hurt each other. That's just what it is, okay? That's what it is. Shakur said, well, it's not personal for me, but boy, he sure let that girl get in his head, didn't he? He sure let Yayira get in his head. And what is Yaira doing? What is she doing? Is she just, is she just, you know, Sakura's peace? That he just go and, you know, whatever he do or, you know, do they have like some kind of committed relationship? It don't seem, it seems like that's just a, a friend with benefits. That's what she seemed like to me, a friend with benefits. You know, this, this puts a, a dark stain on boxing with this fight. I can't even believe I stayed up all night. I stayed on live stream for damn near five hours to cover this fight, okay? And I'm sitting here trying to figure out what, how to entertain you fools. And, you know, the guy come up and give a fight like this. The, the fight performance was horrible. Shakur Stevenson and Joette Gonzalez, they did a horrible job, man. They, did, they, they performed horribly, okay? And neither one of these guys wanted to engage. Neither one of these guys wanted to do anything to try to make it a fight. Nobody tried to push the action. Nobody did anything, man. These guys were in there. This was an over-glorified sparring match. That's what it was. It was a sparring match. And guess who you got to thank for this? Guess. Oh, you see her in the picture. You see her right there. This is who you got to think for us not getting the fights we want to see. I mean, getting the fight that we thought we was going to get. I mean, was this an example of the best fight and the best? You see what's going down in boxing? You see why, you know, I tried to really give some good boxing coverage. I tried to do it. I mean, I, really, I tried my hardest to do it. It's just, it's hard, y'all. It's hard. 
it's like when I do, when I cover women's MMA, I just, I get so invigorated by it because I know that I'm talking about a fight that the best fighting the best. Like Randy Marcos versus Ashley Yoder. They fought a war in the octagon. They fought a war. And then you got Shakur Stevenson come running around in here, you know, styling and profiling and stunting. Then you got uh, Joette Gonzalez, you know, sitting here talking about that he going he gonna to fight for the honor of his daddy and his sister. And then he got, the, he got the honor beat out of him. He got the honor beat out of him. Then he got punched in the testicles. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, well. Here's what it is, man. Here's what it is. Maybe he do love her. Maybe Shakur really do love her. Who, who knows, man? Who knows what's on Shakur's mind? I can tell you what, though. Shakur is the, is the dude, man. And, you know, he's the dude. And, you know, the daddy got He got a small point. He's the dude that your parents warn you about if you're a female. That's the guy that your parents, they warn you about. They, they tell you, look, this is the guy right here. And, you know, every so often, man, you know, every female, you know, they date a bad boy. I mean, my daughter dated a bad boy. He, and, you know, but she ain't with him now. You know, they grow out of it. And maybe, you know, Yair were just in that phase where she got to date a bad boy. Like, Shakur, that's the, that's the boy that your, your, your daddy tell you, look, <laughs> I don't know about him. I don't know about him. You know, I, I, I think this ain't going to work out. Okay? I mean, listen, listen. You need to listen to me. You need to get away from this dude. And the more you tell her, look, she need to get away from him, the closer she get. Okay? That's just what it is. So you dads that your, your daughters are dating, you know, a fool, you know, the more that you tell her, just don't go with him. Okay? The more that she going to get with him. I say you just let them fall on their face, okay? I told my daughter when she was, you know, dating a bad boy, I said, you get pregnant. I said, hey, if you get pregnant, you get pregnant before you get up out of college, I said, cool, cool. I said, but uh, that's your baby, and you're going to raise, not me, okay? That's your baby. You're going to raise. You're going to figure out what you need to do. You're going to figure it all out because you want to date a bad boy, okay? And I said, his goal is to get you pregnant, then he's going to leave you. That's all he's going to do, okay? And that's all I told him, my daughter. I ain't giving no loan, draw that speech. Why? For what? And then she came to me one day and said, you know, daddy, so-and-so, you know, he just, I don't know, he getting in too much trouble. He getting arrested. And, you know, I just don't want to be a part of it. But see what happened. See, you see, I later found out that, see, she almost got arrested hanging out with him. She almost got arrested. Okay. If my daughter didn't smoke, you know, she didn't smoke any kind of marijuana. But see, he was in there smoking it. And see, she was about to go to jail because she was with him. She was about to go to jail. And she lucky. She lucky she didn't catch a case. And then, you know, that woke my daughter up real fast, okay? And I ain't have to do nothing. I told her straight up, <laughs> hey, he gets you pregnant, and I done told you, you better get your education first if he gets you pregnant. Listen, I'm, I'm not raising no kids. I'm not raising, I don't know how to raise one. I'm not raising no more. I'm done, okay? I'm done. That's just what it is. Because, you know, I, I, shoot, I had to work hard, you know, work 18, 19 plus years to raise you, try to get you through college, and then you bring in another one? Nah, we ain't doing that no more. I ain't getting up in the middle of the night. Nope. Nope. He gonna have to marry you, and he gonna have to, you know, y'all gotta find a place to stay. See, we, we had to talk. Me and my daughter had to talk. He gonna have to marry you, and then, you know, y'all gonna have to find a place to stay. Because you can't stay here, okay? You can't stay here, and I'm not gonna allow you to stay here. Uh-uh. He gets you pregnant, you got to go. See, it's called tough love, people, man. You doing your daughter like that? Man, look, it's called tough love, okay? At the end of the day, you know, at the end, the very end of the day, Ain't none of y'all gonna do nothing, man, if my baby girl's in jail. Y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna try to fight to see if she get out of there. Okay, people who talk all the time, they don't do nothing, man. And as a dad, I see where, you know, Gonzalez was talking about. But, you know, me looking on the outside in though, you know, he was, you can tell he was really uncomfortable, man, with Shakur dating his daughter. And you know, and it's cause Shakur brother. Shakur brother, hey, you know, Shakur got some kids. He got, you know, that's the guy you tell your daughter to stay away from, but you know. I mean, Shakur, he not the worst guy on, the, on planet Earth. Okay, if you really, really want to be honest, he ain't the worst guy on planet Earth. I mean, she could have, you know, found somebody else with no kids. You know, she could have found somebody with no kids. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, that's just a fling. You know? Probably in another month, they ain't going to be together. <laughs> they ain't going to be together. Or if they do, they break up. You know, he probably still going to, you know, you know, go behind the scenes and, you know, get with home to DL. And, you know, folks, that's just what it is. It's just what it is, okay? But they didn't fight. They didn't fight, man. They didn't fight for that belt. They fought for Yaira. That's who they fought for. These two fought. They didn't want to hurt each other to keep the sister happy. Way to go. Way to go.